Hello, my loves. I'm Shannon. This is Lifestyle Manifesting, and I'm talking all about manifesting in every area of your life. And today I want to talk about you're not going to settle. I want you to have that attitude that you're not going to settle. The reason that I have clients with so much success, my clients are having success because they are making a decision that they are not going to settle. So when I say do not settle, that means do not settle for whatever you see in your 3D reality. Do not settle for uh, breadcrumbs from your specific person. Do not settle for anything less than what you want. Okay, so get a determine get in your mind that determination of your you're gonna decide to be the version of you who does not settle. You're not taking no for an answer. That is all an inside job mentally. You're mentally not taking anything less than what you want. You're not going to settle. So how can you do that? This is part of your self-concept. And you wanna feel within that you get what you want and you're sure that you get what you want, and you're confident that you get what you want, and you're sure that your reality is a reflection of you, and you're so confident that everything in your reality wants to be a part of your life. Let that be how you identify yourself. Your identity and how you see yourself is um, going to be reflected in your world. So when you make a determination that you're not going to settle, you're going to get what you want. This is an internal job, okay? So I continually have clients uh, who are sharing their success stories with me and they told me that they're determined in their mind and they were sure, they got to a place where they just said, I am sure this desire is mine, okay? They weren't wavering. So when, you, when, when I'm saying you're not gonna settle, okay, when you see something in the 3D reality, unwanted circumstances, you're not gonna settle for that. But you're also not going to uh, get all emotional and worried about it, because you're like, no, I'm not settling for that. And you're gonna refocus and direct your attention on the bigger picture of you, the version of you with your desire in your desired reality. All right. So you're consistently coming back to the place in the state of being of someone who's determined. Let, let that be your affirmation. I am determined. I am sure that I get everything I want. All right. I, I see some questions here. I just found out the man I'm in love with is having a baby with another. Okay. But not with her... It was a fling. Okay, but guess what? I mean, where did you hear this information? Because here's the thing. It, no facts are final. What if what if um, the baby is somebody else? There's a different baby daddy. What if there's a different baby daddy? Okay. Remember, your assumptions about reality are creating. And if you create, if you're deciding this is you're not going to settle you're not going to settle in your mind on the story that's unwanted that you don't want because guess what you can shift into a reality where you're with your specific person okay so let your mind contemplate that um the outcome that you prefer all you need to go all you need to do is go in your mind to the end the past um you don't have to create from whatever you heard this morning Okay, what you want to do is create from the now moment, create from right here, right now. And that means you're not going to focus on yesterday and you're not going to focus on what happened. You're going to focus on the story of what you want. Okay, so your assumption is creating reality. You are the causation. Your thoughts precede the physical reality. Your assumptions and your expectations and how you believe reality to work is, is manifesting. So if you start telling a different story, that the story you tell and that narrative, that's what's manifesting. All you need to do is keep going to the end and you are with your specific person, okay? There can be infinite outcomes. The outcome could be you're with your specific person and there was someone else that was the baby daddy, right? It's literally like writing um, the movie of your life. All right, so you have to keep focusing on that. But the minute you focus on there was a fling that, you know, <laughs> they were together, you have suspicions, you have doubts, you have worries, all of those are going to manifest, okay? And you have to shift your attention to the story you want. You st step into the version of you who is with your person. Okay, Juliet, 
Uh, what do you think of coaches who say that if it takes longer than two months to manifest, you're doing it wrong? I've never heard anybody say that. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. I don't ever think I'm doing it wrong. I mean, that's what, look, look. If you are living in the end of having your desire, you know that, that your desire is yours, okay? And if you know your desire is yours, you, you're not gonna be thinking that you don't have it, okay? And that if it takes longer than two months, okay? It's all a mindset. It's not that coach that says that, it's not that they're necessarily wrong. They're trying to find out the reason why this person doesn't have it. But that still aligns with the reality where that person doesn't have it. Can that actually be helpful? Sure, because maybe that person tweaks um, you know, some, some sort of um, internal, sh has an internal shift because of that, okay? So it's not that it's necessarily wrong. There's just different ways to perceive reality and manifest your reality, all right? Now, in my perception, my perception is, well, all creation, we know all creation exists right here and right now, right? Everything's existing right now. And right now, the version of you with your desire exists. In order to manifest and be, to have that uh, desire manifest or be revealed and be experienced in your reality, all you need to do is have the thoughts and the feelings and the assumptions of that version of you. Okay, and that includes you just knowing that it's yours, just knowing that that desire is yours. That includes you just knowing you only have to plant a seed and it manifests. So think from the end, think from the end. I don't analyze what's wrong, I'm deciding it's already done. I'm in the solution, I'm coming from the place of the solution is you already have your desire, okay? And if you're looking at the time, if you're looking back like that it's been two months, well, now you're focused on time, linear time. It's not, you can manifest that way. It's not wrong, <laughs> okay? It's, it's your, it's, it, but what's your perception? If we're focusing on time, we're focusing on, I, looking back, I don't, if I'm looking back and saying I don't have it, now I'm really aligning with the reality where I don't have it. Just make a decision. I have it. I have my desire. And sometimes you just need to affirm it more and more and more so it's becoming more believable. And it's, it's, it's sounding true. This is all about the game of convincing yourself that you have this. It's the game of life and how to play it. But here's my perspective. I look at every single coach and I find value. I look at every coach and find value. I'm going to, I mean, you know, coach, for me, the coaches are like Neville Goddard. Do I align and agree with every single thing he says? No. Do I align with everything that Bob Proctor says? No. Do I align? But they're valuable. They have a valuable insight. Do I align with everything Tony Robbins says? No. <laughs> okay. But he has a valuable insight. So I'm going to, I'm gonna listen, right? This is what you can do. You're just gonna listen and you're gonna decide for yourself because you're the creator. So you're just gonna listen and decide for yourself, how can I take value from what this person's saying that it could be implemented in my own life? There's no one all, the way that I do it, it's not the be all, one all, or whatever that term is, right? It's not the only way to manifest. This is reality creation, and we're all creating reality based on our own personal experiences, um, a lifetime of beliefs, right? And our interactions, okay? This all, the sum total of all of it. All right, so, so just, just observe reality and find, find the value wherever you can. I think, I'm not saying that's the only way to do it, but I think that's a really powerful way to do it. Um, how do I get to a good place with someone again that I truly loved, but he shut me out, it hurts. All right, well, okay, you wanna be in a good place with that person. Understand you're the creator, <laughs> you're the creator. Do you understand that you actually, it was you who created this whole situation and this whole circumstance. They shut you out, not because of them, but because of you and your own perception. In your reality, you're the only thinker. In your reality, everything and everyone is responding to you. All you have to do is test this out. You could, I've tested it out over and over and over and it continues to prove itself. So when you understand that, 
you all then you also understand that because you created it you can basically uncreate it you can just choose and select a different reality you can choose and select the reality where it doesn't hurt but in order to choose that reality where it doesn't hurt you need to be the version of you where it doesn't hurt okay and you need to be the version of you who is not who is no longer saying he shut me out okay so the version of you with in a good place with this person that you truly love is they truly love you okay and you are you feel loved and you are heard and you are seen and you feel satisfied and fulfilled you're not feeling hurt okay because remember if you're feeling hurt now you're identifying with the version of you who's hurt and the version of you who's hurt um, must manifest the version of him who hurt you. Okay, if you're feeling hurt, that's the version that stays in your reality. But if you decide to be the version, right, this is going to the end. Okay, so remember, we're all, this is, this is um, thinking of reality in a whole new light. Okay, so you're the creator. Now, you want to be in the relationship, you have to be the version of you who is in the relationship, so you're not hurt. Okay, it's all that's already resolved. You need to just shift to that version of you. Okay, it's a mental exercise. This is this is a mental game. It's a mental game. So you have to keep affirming in your mind, be the version of you who you feel solid and you feel secure because that's what you would feel if you were together and you would feel loved and you would feel like pretty excited about life. Like I'm going to the end where it's a great relationship and he, you're truly loved and you feel that love. So you have to practice being that person every day. Every single day you have to be that person. So that's why you're going to say affirmations to be that person. You're gonna say, you know, I am love. I radiate love. I feel love. Um, I know I'm loved. I know I'm attractive. I know I'm great. I know, then you also wanna, so how you see yourself is how you're creating reality. How that person sees you, you're, you're creating how they perceive you with your own perception. <laughs> okay, so you need to see a version of them who truly loves you. You're gonna spend only um, your thoughts, you spend your thoughts on that version of that specific person right so if they truly loved you what does that look like um they're treating you as the most important person in their life right you're treating each other as the most important people in each other's lives they're treating you that way how do you feel how does that make you feel when they treat you that way All right so you don't have to focus specifically on them you're going to focus on the new version the new version of them right the new version of him I'm um, sorry, I saw that other part of the question from Queen, but I'm going to get to you. <laughs> okay, so you're picturing the new version of him. D understand, do you understand this reality? It's a holographic image coming from your imagination, coming from your imagination. Everything's real. It's real, but you can shift and you could, and every, and the minute you change your perception about something, your reality is shifting and changing to that. But if you keep going back and forth, no, he does. You, you might, let's say you're affirming through the day and you're feeling good and you're like, I'm on point with my self-concept, but then you, you're still shut out. Well, the minute you're identifying with the person who's shut out, now you're that version of you. You have to be only the one, ver you want to be only that one version of you who is in the relationship, consistently feel that way, okay? So do you need to pretend that they're standing next to you? No, you just have a knowing. The knowing is that you're the creator of your reality and all you need to do to align to that reality is know that it's done. You stay loyal to that vision. You know it's done because you had the thoughts and you imagined it, okay? Or you affirm it. You affirm that version of you with them together. All right, so that's how you do that. You keep affirming. When you think of the, um, your specific person, you can't keep thinking about what they did yesterday or this morning or last week, or you gotta let the, the, uh, the past, you have to let, let that all dissolve away, okay? And you're gonna focus more on the present moment and you, from the present moment, you create your future, okay? So that, that's what you're gonna do, all right? It's, it's already done. It's already, so let's say, let's do this. I am telling you, you you've, you're already imagining it right now. We're already talking about it right now. It's done, it's done. So your job now is just to revel in the idea that it's done. 
just like let's say you you let's say you had a job offer you were accepted for a new position with a job and they said you're hired you're hired but um you're gonna start in 30 days okay you're hired you already know it's done but you're not starting right now today are you gonna worry about it no so think about it that way like it's already done. Okay, it's not there. You didn't start the job yet. You didn't start going in, but you know that you have it. So it's, it's the same idea, right? You could use that idea and that concept to help you get in that mental space of saying, okay, it's done. Okay, it's done. Even though you don't see it in the 3D reality, it's done. All right, so it's done. Now I want you to do this. The rest of the day, oh my God, it's done. What are you doing the rest of the day? You don't have to be overly ecstatic. You're just gonna know that it's done. You're not gonna worry about it. You're not gonna doubt it. You're not gonna doubt um, anything with him. And when you think about him, you're just gonna say, oh, he is so in love with me. I want you to say that from the place of reveling in how much you know that you're the creator and he is so in love with you, okay? And then through the day also, make sure you're focusing on your self-concept, okay? Um, self-concept is you affirming that version of you with with that with in the relationship so okay queen back to the story of the ma the baby the pregnancy okay when you write here it's his you're you're solidifying it i want you to start thinking this instead of saying it's his it's his you because you're creating your own reality so you're the one who's creating it's his no one else's it's you who is creating it it's what if you just start saying this just do this what if it's someone else's? That's, that's the only thing I want you to think. What if it's someone else's baby? What if it's someone else's? That's it. And I want you to think, I don't want you to think it's his because the minute you think it's his, it is his. And your reality will prove it to you. Your re reality does not discriminate. It only proves to you what your beliefs are from within. Your beliefs manifest. You are the causation. The reality is not the causation. You're telling the story. It, you're storytelling. You're a storyteller of your own life. And you're telling the story based on whatever your thoughts and assumptions are. Okay, so you created this. So, so just test this out. Even if you're not even 100% sure if this works, just start saying, I want you to just start wondering, what if it's someone else's? Even if your friend says, no, no, I know it's his. I want you to say, I don't, you just say, you know what? But what if it is somebody else's? That's it. I want you to say, only that when it comes to this topic. It's probably somebody else's. What if it's somebody else's? That's it. Okay. Okay, Heat Marie. Uh, what if thoughts creep up of how situations were in the past? Can you just in your mind say cancel? You can, yeah. Um, when you have thoughts about situations in the past, past well, here, I mean, right, you know there's infinite ways to do this, right? So when those thoughts and situations of the past creep up, you could say, you know what, just cancel those out, or I release all those thoughts and that's not true anymore. Um, anything that you could say to, basically, you want to not resist it, but just allow it. You could say, you know what, that happens, so what? No big deal, I learned from it, and now I'm in the present moment creating my reality, okay? I mean, yeah, you, you know, so it's, it's really not a big deal. If you could just think those situations in the past were not a big deal, it's going to be not a big deal. But if you think that situation in the past is such a big deal, you're going to see that it is such a big deal. Not only you're going to see it, your world will reflect it. Friends, were, someone will remind you of what a big deal it was, okay? So you have to get to a place where you're like, no big deal. It, why is it no big deal? Because you're the creator. Right now you could create your reality with new thoughts and a new perception and you hold firm to that new vision and you stay loyal to the, the new story. Nothing, no facts are final in your reality unless you decide they're final. And if you have a belief that that's true, then, then your reality will, will show you that that belief is true. Okay, weight loss affirmations. Um, I do have a video on my YouTube channel. If you're not subs <laughs> subscribed, can I say that word? 
Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. I have affirmations. I have another weight loss affirmation video coming out, but I already have one there where I'm saying, you look so great, right? It's from a third person telling you where you could close your eyes and imagine like a friend or other people are saying it to you. Okay, but I will do one with, or I do have one in the process of that I've um, been working on with I am affirmations. So weight loss affirmations, I am already in my dream body. My body feels so good. I lost the weight. I love how I feel in my body. I love that I'm getting compliments all the time. I love my body. I love how the weight felt like it just, it just fell off of me. And I'm just feeling so good about myself, okay? Just say it like you have to imagine and be the version of you who already lost the weight. What would you be saying? You'd be like, oh my God, I'm so thrilled. I love that I can eat anything I want. Okay, I love that I have the best metabolism. I love that my metabolism's always working. When I go to bed at night, my cells are regenerating. They are powerful. My metabolism is increasing. As I get older, my metabolism is better. So you, we have to look at the beliefs that people already hold or that you hold, right, in reality. Like there's a belief that as you get older, your metabolism goes down, right, or whatever, something with women and there's whatever internal understand. It's all not true. It's only true that if you believe it, it's not true. Okay, so create new, new beliefs in your own life by you have to affirm them over and over and reprogram yourself to have the new beliefs. I don't care if somebody told me the metabolism gets worse as you get older. That's not the, that's not the case in my life. That's what you have to believe or you want to create those kind of beliefs. Plus, the rea reality already shows you evidence of people like that. Okay, so it's not, it's, not, it's not for everyone. So you choose what belief you want to align with. H-H-R-R-L. Okay, my SP lives in a different country and now he wants me to visit him. Should I? I want to, but I'm a bit scared. All right, well, so, I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking to see if you had any more to your question. Okay, it, it's your SP. He wants you to visit him. Why are you scared? Isn't that what you want? So, First identify why you're scared. Are you scared because you're afraid to be rejected? Are you scared because it won't go well? Are you scared because you think it's gonna be friends with benefits? What is the reason you're scared? Because that's, that's basically the story you're telling yourself and that's basically what will, <laughs> that, that story will manifest, okay? So first of all, let's say you're scared because you think, what if it doesn't work out? Let's say that's your thought, right? Now, now, you've identified that story that's opposing what you want. You have to affirm it's going to work out because you're the creator, so it has to work out. So this is going to work out. Now, how is it going to work out? Well, you start to paint the picture in your mind how it's going to work out. You're going to create, you're going to, you have to create the story and the affirmations that align to that vision. And that would be, um, oh my God, this, I'm like, I'm so, you can imagine you already met and you went there, Okay. And it was better than you expected. And that's what you want to be affirming. Oh my God, better than I ever expected. I expected it to go well, and it went better than I expected. And my SP was so romantic and so kind and so open and sharing their feelings and telling me how much they care about me. And my specific person and I had a great time. So you have to tell that story. You need to be the confident version of you who is... Um, experiencing that story. So think about the, when you're identifying your self-concept, think of the, the idea of, I am empowered and I am confident and I am sure, and I know how to create my reality. And I know it's always working out. And I know that I'm always chosen and I know that I'm wanted. All right, so that's what, that's what you wanna do, okay. Um, what, here's how you manifest your desire, right? You just script out the story of what you want and you keep affirming that story over and over and over, okay? Okay, and you wanna create good meaning behind everything. He wants you to visit him, so create the story. Yes, you know what? He wants me, he wants me to visit him because he cares about me so much or he is so in love with me and he wants to see me and he wants to show me around his uh, country and he wants to show me around his town and, and he wants to share, you know, his experiences with me. Okay. 
That's what you want to assume. Your assumptions are creating. Did your, were those your assumptions? Okay, so keep affirming those assumptions. Yeah, Polly, hi, <laughs> you missed me. I know, did I go live yesterday? I can't remember if I did or not. I think I missed it yesterday. Um, I had a, a 90 minute massage yesterday afternoon. So, oh my God, it felt so good. So I did have a little bit of pain in my leg um, from working out. And when I went to that massage, I just kept intending. Okay, I could I could I affirm that that the pain went away or the you know discomfort in my muscle went away without having massage? Sure, but I love massages. I was I had already scheduled one, and I just kept kept saying I intend this goes well, and I intend that he gets the the masseur masseuse um, gets those spots, and I'm feeling better. And then I was like breathing this like love and healing into that space as he was massaging that part of my leg. I can't believe how good my legs feel today. I can believe it, right? All right, so that's why I wasn't here yesterday. Okay, okay, so um, <laughs> I was out living my joy. Uh, what if I was doing so well? SP said something and I didn't like it and I kind of detached and I'm confused if I still want it. It's okay to be confused if you still want it. Um, just start, you don't have to focus on your specific person. Thank you for all the the stuff, all the stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, you don't think so much about your specific person. Instead, this is, this could help you get clarity. This is just an idea for you to help, uh, for, to help you get clarity. Okay. Start going to the end of what you want. Maybe you take out a notebook and you start scripting out. This is what I want. If it's a relationship, you know, I want to be in a relationship where I am treated like this. And then you're, then you're scripting out how you want to be treated. How would it look? How does your person interact with you? How do you feel? What, how, what's the version of you? I want you to get clear on that. And I want you to keep affirming that story. And that's going to give you realizations. That's going to help you, um, get more clear on what you want. By the way, sometimes when we experience something we don't want, it does help us get more clear on what we do want, okay? So, um, they said something you don't like, good. I mean, good that you, uh, you detached, okay? You didn't like it, that's what I mean. That's good that you detached, okay? But I want you to feel, um, start to say, instead of like, I'm confused, say, I'm getting more clarity. I'm getting clear on what I want. I intend to get more clear on what I want. I intend for my world to show me what I want. Because your world will show you when you're like, um, you're coming from that place of like that openness, right, within. All right, so that's what you can do. Um, Priyanka, what do I do if I get exhausted from affirming all day? That's that that means that you're actually trying, okay? Because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. It shouldn't feel exhausting. It shouldn't feel like it's effort. Okay, so what do you do? It would be more productive if you just walk through your day being grateful. Okay. That would be here's what you could do. When you wake up in the morning, you set the tone for your day with a blueprint script for five minutes every morning. Within the first 30 minutes of waking up, grab your notebook and I want you to script just for like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes if you have the time, right? Five or 10 minutes of scripting how you want your day to go. Okay, everything's gonna work out today. I'm gonna feel better today. I intend to uh, feel really satisfied and fulfilled. I'd fulfilled. I intend to like laugh today. I intend to feel like I'm really living my joy today. I intend to live my best life today okay so now you scripted that out how are you moving through your day you're gonna just decide to be in the state of gratitude okay you can affirm I okay within that scripting you can write um, write your end goal what's your end goal I um, if it's a relation like relationship money whatever just script that out script out script out as if you already have it I have an extra fifty thousand dollars today um, I have, um, I am in the most loving relationship, okay? So, and whatever, whatever else you're scripting. And then just close the book and say, okay, I wrote that down. I got it out. My desires are done. Move through your day. And you're not going to be uh, exhausted when you're in, in gratitude, okay? You're going to, you're going to feel, you're going to walk through, through the day thinking, you know what? I'm grateful for these clothes that I wear. I'm grateful that I have a beautiful smile. I'm grateful for this body that I'm in, that I can move through this world. I'm grateful for the food that I eat, for everything. You're going to feel grateful. 
okay? You're gonna compliment other people. You're gonna compliment yourself and compliment other people. That should not feel exhausting. And then you're gonna get, that's gonna help you get into a state of feeling. That's, that's living in the wish fulfilled. Living in the wish fulfilled is, a, it's a state of feeling like everything's okay and this is good, okay? So that's a way to get there. It's not the only way to get there, but that's a way to get there. Now, you're feeling good after like several days of doing this. Now you're gonna think about your specific person. You're gonna go, you know what? I am the best catch. And then you're gonna vision, then, you'll kind of, then you can bring in how um, your desire more specifically, okay? So that's in a way it's like starting general and then getting more specific. All right, guys, I do have to run. I love you all. You're powerful. If you need additional help, I have my VIP group. It's a monthly coaching group. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching available. I do text message coaching for a week. Uh, I added that back in recently because now I have a little more time to do that. Um, my, I have my new course, Master Your Reality by Mastering Your Self-Concept, and that's a blueprint for you to be the best version of yourself. Well, it's, it's a blueprint for you to be the version of yourself with your desire. All right. I love you all. Have a great uh, afternoon. See you. Bye-bye.